Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jay. If this is your first time here, welcome. So I wanted to do a review on the Louis Vuitton Toiletry 26 in the monogram print. And I love this piece for many reasons, but the primary true reasons are that one is just the way that this looks. It's just very clean. It's not busy at all. And I just love the interior. It's so easy to clean and maintain. And for the price, which I believe is 415 US dollars, it's definitely worth the money. I mean, I think I paid with taxes about 450. But either way, it's just one of those pieces that for under $500, you can use this in multiple ways. So I'll show you what I do. And then at the end, I'll also show you how I clean it and how I just store it and put it back in my bookshelf. So the first thing I do is I just take out the um, air paper <laughs> that I use. And I used to use hand towels before to store this. But, you know, with detergents and stuff, I don't really know if that really will, you know, treat the leather somehow. But, you know, these air papers, they're so easy, they're lightweight, and they don't smell. So this is great to keep and to have. And one of the ways that I use this is for um, either a night out or if I'm going to run an errand. So I'll show you what I put in here. And I, well... Not that I do it all the time, but sometimes when I do run errands and I use this, I'll take my full size Emily wallet and I'll just put that in here. And then I'll take my keys, my cell phone, and then again, if it's the supermarket that I'm going to or pharmacy and all those cards that you get, I'll just put them in my clay and then my keys, my other set of keys. And then I'll just put, you know, a lip gloss and some gum, like if I'm going to use this at night, and that's it. And, you know, it's not that heavy. Again, if you're not going to use, obviously, the full-size wallet, you can use something smaller. It's just perfect. So I just love the way this looks. It's not bulky at all. And then I'll just use it like so, and that's it. You know, and another reason why I love using this um, you know, like in the evenings, it's that you can dress it up or dress it down. It looks great with sneakers, with jeans, with slacks and a dress. So, you know, it, it just works perfect. I think monogram print is probably my favorite print of Louis Vuitton. And then the other uh, way that I use this is when we travel. So we tend to travel quite a bit throughout the year. And, you know, especially if it's a vacation, I tend to plan ahead. I'm one of those that I plan everything. Yes, some people might say, oh, yes, she's one of those. Yes, I am, because I can't just wing it. Like, I need to know what I'm getting myself into. So I go as far as checking the weather. I plan my hair, my makeup, my outfit, my shoes, you name it, the whole nine yards. So when I do that, I try to take, you know, minimal stuff. I try not to take everything because yes, I love makeup and I have tons of it. And I would have to take a suitcase if I was to take all my stuff. So I kind of just take the things that I need. So the first thing that I put in here are my powders and I currently use two. One is the Maybelline Fit Me and I love this matte um, finish. And then I also use on top of that, my Chanel. And I just love the way this smells. Both of them just work great together. So if you're looking for new powders, I highly recommend these two. So I'll go ahead and put that inside. And then when it comes to eyeshadows and liquid stuff, I use one of these plastic sandwich bags that you just get at the grocery stores just because I don't want to get to my you know destination and then I find out that everything just spill in there and it's a mess I don't want to deal with that especially if I'm on vacation I want to be as stress-free as possible so I'll go ahead and take my foundation and the one that I'm using is the Estee Lauder double wear I absolutely love this I've been using it for years so I'll go ahead and put that in here and then my eyeshadows, again, I'm trying to go very light, so I'll go ahead and take like a Too Faced Sugar Pop, depending on the season. 
I'll go ahead and take that and I just love this the colors are so beautiful and then I always have my naked palette so I'll put that in there and then my blush and any lipsticks I mean again I'm not really worried too much about the lipstick but you know just to keep everything together I'll just dump it in there and then concealer which I've been using this Naked Skin Complete Full Coverage. I love it. I love it. So I'll put that in there. And then my Travel Size Better Than Sex Mascara. Love this. And then my lip gloss. So I'll go ahead and put that in here. I'll show you guys. Okay, there we have some room. And then also, I'll put my lip liners in one of these bags separately because for some reason I don't care about the brand I really don't but ah, I just can't keep this stuff clean it's so dirty I don't know so it just has its own little bag so I'll put that uh, put that in here as well and then the last thing are my brushes I travel with quite a bit so I don't know I think I have like 10 in here probably take way more than I need but what I do with this stuff is I'll use a rubber band and I'll take another bag and I'll put it in here like so wrap it and there you go and I still have room you know so it's not that heavy it's you know it's uh, it's perfect because I kind of trick myself into saying that, you know, I can buy probably more makeup wherever I go. I'll find a lipstick that I don't see here in New York or a nail polish or whatever. So it's just an excuse for me to put more stuff in here. So this is kind of how I pack it when I travel. And again, it just looks great. And I just make sure that I pack it in there so it looks all organized. And then the third way is you know, there's times where I don't want to be at home and I want to go to a cafe or have lunch outside, whatever. So I'll take my laptop and I'll take my office supplies and I'll put them in here. So I probably take more than I need, but again, you never know if somebody needs like an extra pen or a pencil, whatever it is. So I just make sure I go prepared. So I'll take all of my pens. Yes, it's color coordinated, sickening, I know. And everything has a rubber band and highlighters so I'll put that in here then I'll take a calculator in case I'm on my phone I'm not using the you know my iPhone I'll just use this my little happy notepad a little post-it note my mouse my reading glasses and then I'll just take my keys and you know this is so compact as well that I'll just put like my credit card in here, my driver's license and some cash. And then I'll just go ahead and put it in here. Show you guys this. Make sure it's nice and neat. And that is it. And it's just my toiletry 26 and my laptop. And I am in style at the cafe. <laughs> and then the last way that I use this is um, you know, there's times where my son and I go to the park or we'll go to a museum. So if I know we're going to be out of the house for like three, four hours, I'll just take this and I will add his essentials and I'll take some diapers, take a little bag, some wipes, you know, a couple snacks and maybe a toy. And that's it. Again, pack it in there. It's not too bulky. And then either I'll take this by itself or I'll go ahead and put it in my new bag, which is in my pre-August 2017 favorites video, the Lawn Champ in this beautiful khaki color. And I just put that in here and it works. So you know, it, it, there's endless the ways that you can use this piece. And I'll just show you quickly how I clean it. And I take these wipes and they are the seventh generation fragrance free. 
wipes and this works very well. I know that you can use soap and you know some uh, water but I just again I with all the chemicals and stuff I'm not really sure how that's going to treat the leather. So I just go with something fragrance free and I'll take a wipe and I'll just make sure I wipe it clean and then I'll just take a dry cloth and then wipe it again make sure it's dry and you know use the air paper again pack it make sure that it looks good the shape is perfect and I'll zip this puppy up and I put it back in my bookshelf and that is it so I hope this was helpful you know again if this was something that you were thinking about or you had it on your wish list and you took it out because you said oh I can't really do much with it you know I highly suggest for you to reconsider it and I can guarantee you that you're gonna love this piece as much as I do so I hope you guys like this type of video um, if you like the content please make sure to give it a thumbs up to share the video subscribe and I will see you guys on my next video bye guys